Welcome everyone, my name is Brendan Snyder. Thank you for joining me. So this video here is how to best handle a CD, how to take care of it for the life and longevity of it. Um, I do think most of us know this. Um, I have gotten a couple requests for this. Uh, certainly if you are of the younger generation or and or maybe new to CD collecting because they're certainly cheap and easy to pick up out there, uh, this is good for you. And if nothing else, maybe it's a good refresher course. Uh, but if you are new to my channel, uh, please click the subscribe button. Also leave a comment, hit like, all those things help support my channel. I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, as an added bonus, you'll be able to stay up to date on all that's going on in the world of music, just like this, how to best take care of your CD and manage its life for the longevity of the CD. So uh, there's you know a lot of different ones. We've got the traditional one that comes in the jewel case we'll look at. Uh, we've got uh, some of the newer jewel case style. Then there's a couple different uh, diggy pack styles that are available and out there. And then there's these replica vinyl sleeve ones that we'll talk about. And so, you know, on just regular CDs, um, you know, the way that these open up uh, like this, right? The easiest way to get these things out, uh, if you aren't familiar, is with the middle of this, actually pressing it down using your thumb and grabbing the edge of this. So putting your thumb in the middle, grabbing the edge and pulling up like that. Now, the main thing to always remember in taking care of and maintaining the life of the CD is to grab it by the edges, right? You don't ever wanna to touch the underside if you don't have to, mostly just because you don't wanna get fingerprints and things on it. Uh, the less amount of time that you've gotta clean these things, the more they're gonna last, right? Uh, some of the questions I was getting as to how not to scratch your CDs. Well, not touching the underside is the way to do it. And in the way that I'm showing you how to get it out of the case, um, again, by pressing the center and lifting up like this and then grabbing the other side like that uh, is the best way. But let's say that you actually get fingerprints or need to clean it. You know, um, you go to a used record store, they're always dirty, fingerprinted, right? What's the best way to clean it? Um, so I've always used and would recommend uh, an old, 100% cotton t-shirt. Um, you know, uh, most shirts are 100% cotton kind of a thing, and uh, you can tear it down kind of a thing. But the main thing to, to understand is, like records, the, there are grooves. They're tiny, but they go in a circular direction. So you don't want to clean going out. You want to work with the, the grooves, so to speak, of it. So if you're going to clean it, you want to go around in circles with it. And you don't need to press very hard on it, but you have to make sure that the shirt is clean or the, the cloth is clean. You can use paper towels, but make sure it's something that's really soft. This is Viva brand. Uh, they make exceptionally soft um, uh, paper towels. Uh, Charmin uh, TP you know, is a good thing. Um, and if you need a cleaner, don't use anything like a glass cleaner or something that has abrasives, abrasives in it. Um, I use alcohol, rubbing alcohol, 70% um, solution of it. Uh, just a little bit of dab of that on either the t-shirt or the paper towel uh, will take off anything like glue or fingerprints that might have dried on. Uh, kind of a thing. And that's really the best way to clean and maintain um, your CD. They sell CD wipes. Those are really good. There's nothing wrong with those. This is just how best to do it from home remedy. So that's um, this part of it. And, um, you know, there's other parts of this to maintain. It's like, how do you keep your booklet in the best uh, shape? You know, there's these plastic tabs that are in there and it drives me nuts when the booklets get caught in them. So, you know, in putting these things back in, you have to watch the tabs and check that your booklet is behind those four tabs so that when it closes, you don't crimp the booklet in there. And so for me, that's another thing for taking care of your jewel case, your booklet and your CD, meaning making this whole package um, something that is maintained for the life of it where you don't uh, destroy it. Now there's these other newer cases that have these special edges that are meant to keep them from cracking. And I have to say, so far it certainly seems that way. Um, 
they have these uh, tabs. You actually have to press them in here. Uh, uh, you know, I use my fingernail. You press it in a little bit and it'll pop open on it. And then opening it is pretty much the same way, but it's got tabs in the corner. So if you press your thumb in the middle again and use one of these corner cutouts on it, you will get it out and then you can grab it and pick it up like that. But I also wanted to point out because this kind of booklet has tabs here, here, here and here as opposed to at the top. So they're in different places. And it's a bit harder to get the booklet out. But I found that if you put your finger here and you push forward just a little bit, you see how it bows, it'll pop out from there and then you can slide it out and do it. And then you've got to put it in through the back tabs, bend it ever so slightly and it will go in like that and you'll be able to uh, pop the booklet back in easy on that one as well. Then on Diggy Packs, uh, these cardboard case ones where the CDs are in the sleeve portion of these. So I just find with these that if you squeeze the top and bottom here and here a little bit, you'll see how that opens up like that. And then you can reach in with your fingers and you just want to grab the edge ever so slightly because this is where you'll get your fingerprints and things on it. Um, but most of these albums don't go all the way to the edge. They start from the center, work their way out. So if you get a little bit of your fingerprint on it, it isn't going to hurt it for the most part, unless it's one of those 75 to 80 minute plus ones, and then you may have to worry about it. Now, you just pull it out, and again, you only want to grab it from the edges, and when sliding it back in, do the same thing on it. And by squeezing it, it actually removes the cardboard away from the edge to lessen the amount of sliding that scratches this. What I have found, unfortunately, with these, because these are glued together, they're cardboard, that's how they're put together, you sometimes get a little bit of glue on these because they put the disc in too soon and it gets a glue spooge or something on it. And that's where the alcohol really comes in handy is uh, getting that glue off. So if you have had that happen and you've pulled out your disc, it was stuck in there, it had a little glue, some isopropyl rubbing alcohol will certainly help with that. Uh, another type, uh, this kind of diggy pack where it's in the um, plastic jewel case uh, inlay portion, it's similar to that newer type that has the, um, the groove or the cutout in the corners. And again, putting your thumb in the middle and lifting from that release there will pop that right out like that. And that's how you do those. And then the final one is the... Um, replica record sleeve version of this and much like i was showing you on that white snake one you can kind of pull it up you know always grab it with your two fingers like this but if it's a little too hard you can see it is opening when i squeeze it but some of these are really thick cardboard you can also use the first finger and maybe you know your thumb or the other finger on here to help pull it apart but essentially you want to open it up a little bit so that you can grab, in this case, they come with these sleeves, which of course is really helpful. So you have something to grab onto. And the same thing, if you squeeze this part, then very lightly you can grab this and pull this out. And the same would go for this as the other. If you do get a fingerprint on the edge, it's probably not an issue because most CDs aren't the 75 to 80 minute capacity. But if it is, I've shown you how to clean it. So that's just the best way to, to handle, to maintain, to operate uh, CDs, cases, that sort of stuff. Taking them in and out of your CD trays should always be by the edge, that sort of stuff. If for some reason I didn't answer a question or you are still having problems or you're getting scratches in different ways, leave me a comment in here and I'd be happy to address how it is that I deal with those sort of things. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts. I hope everyone has a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.